it can still go either way, heal or die, but the present madness can't continue much longer. Unemployment, sweatshops, and profit-driven wars might continue forever, but these torments cannot. Our predatory debt system, having devoured the whole planet, has begun to cannibalize itself. We're preparing too little for the end of oil and other non-renewable resources. And if the plundering of the commons continues, soon the entire ecosystem will simply collapse, killing us all. Individual efforts cannot save us. We need public policy. But the rich only permit changes that make themselves richer. So we must end the plutocracy. And we must also change our culture, or it will just generate a new plutocracy. Because our economic system is rarely questioned, few in our society are aware of how enormously destructive that system is. It perpetuates, and is perpetuated by, a philosophy of disconnectedness and private wealth, which has reigned since agriculture began 10,000 years ago. That philosophy is the root of all our many ills. Authoritarianism, dogma, fear, alienation, consumerism, and so on. If your interests are separate from mine, then your loss is not my loss, and might even be my gain. While retaining some sort of farming, we must regain the cooperativeness of earlier tribal hunter-gatherers. Our culture must greatly increase in empathy. That kind of revolution cannot be imposed by force. But the bureaucracy of brutality will fall without a shot if all its workers awaken and walk out. Right now it's hard to imagine our society making such a huge spiritual leap. But as the ecosystem weakens and the famines accelerate, people will listen to more radical ideas. What kind will they hear? We must find and spread the wisest ideas we can. Your answer to the world's problems is incomplete if it's not contagious. The biggest thing we're all missing is an understanding of each other. Join the conversation.